shortly we'll be able to look up the road and see the person who's going to take the victory. It's going to be just over three hours and 50 minutes as we're just seconds away from that time. A reminder at events like the Stony Plain, the Great White North, Tom Evans has taken a victory there and his record time is at 3.49. So we're looking to see number 38 who's still our leader. So as others go out, Wendell Crown, Wynn Van Pelt is on the course, Alex D'Souza is on the course. Ladies and gentlemen, we look up and we'd urge you not to cross the road when athletes are going out or back without looking to certain left and right to make sure you don't impede their progress. But we're getting ready to welcome a man who, uh, given the fact that London Olympics are underway right now, has been a two-time Olympian and represented Denmark there. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. We are about to see a brand new record for the course. That's our lead biker. This is a man who was second out of the swim. Had a brilliant bike to go out there on the run in first place. He's from Hillary, Denmark. It is the incredible Rasmus Henning. Eighth in Beijing Olympics, seventh in our Athens Olympics, the multi European Cup winner, Danish Championship winner of distances from swim to iron distances. He's going to collect the Calgary 70.3 Ironman victory. Some high fives for Rasmus Henning as he comes to line at 351 even. That is a new course record overall. A brilliant performance by 4 minutes and 28 seconds over the course record. Don't forget, he started this day with second place on the swim, 22.50 for the swim. Six passes on the bike at 2.11.10. And as you can see, he stormed away there to claim the victory today. The 36-year-old Dane, what a stunning performance for him. And let's remind you that he was a European long course champion as we're getting ready to welcome our second place in our coming to line. What a great day this has been, of course, for this man. It is Chris Lee, the 40-year-old from Melbourne, Australia, the 21-year-old, absolutely stunning. We're so pleased to have him with us, 85 year -old professional races, a five-time Australian national champion, number one ranking in long course from 99 to 2000. He takes second place and we certainly congratulate him. Hopefully his wife Sarah and his daughter Jameson are here to witness his performance there today. He was third in Hawaii as well at 70.3 and don't forget he's a two top ten Hawaiian Ironman World Championship uh, finishes as well as uh, some top ten. He's been four times right there in the top four overall at Ironman titles. So we're absolutely thrilled to welcome Chris uh, to the finish line. What an amazing job there for him as well. So congratulations, thanks for being with us. And don't forget, he raced in uh, Wildflower. He took a fifth place there behind Jesse Thomas, Jordan Rapp, James Kanama and Paul Matthews. This is our third placer, just as he was at the World Championships. Ladies and gentlemen, the man who was a victor in Vancouver. He just won the Peach Classic for the fourth time. A four-time BC Duathlon champion as well. He's coming to line after getting that third at Wells. He's going to be third at Calgary, 70.3 from Ben Tickton, Jeff Simons. All three men inside the previous record. That's a 352. He's done a 350 before when he won the Great White North and uh, he won it again this year just a couple of weeks ago he was seriously injured after getting a third place at the first half in Vancouver at the half marathon there is folks here watching the action today look at the talent he's up against there today in the form of Rasmus Heading, Chris Lee so you've got the Dane you've got the Australian now you've got the top Canadian from the home of Ironman Canada the 27 year old Jeff Simon absolutely staying he used to be a former BC cross country running champion as well and don't forget one of his teammates then was Anaki Gomez who's on the Olympic squad right now at 20 kilometers for the walk portion now of in the race walk out there so we can give you their splits as well because it looks as though Rasmus Henning did the fastest run split 7508 so ladies and gentlemen that is a new run course record for Rasmus Henning so we've seen a new we've seen a new swim record as long as that gentleman finishes and uh, that gentleman uh, being Joseph Lampy, who was just a couple of seconds ahead of Rasmus Henning. We've seen a new bike course record. We'll tell you more about that in a moment as we're looking now for our fourth place. So don't get the top five. This is Rich Allen, number 34, who's next to come through to the finish line area. Man who was uh, 18 months in. Don't forget he was in the Perth in the world. He'd be great at 70.3 there in Texas. His wife, Tanya, hopefully here with him. I know she was pregnant recently, so he's out of state still. The 38 year old takes fourth position and will be a winner of that for $750. So amazing stuff, four athletes to the finish line, four different countries now represented, Denmark, Australia, Canada, and the USA. And when we look at their splits, uh, previously going into this, Rich Allen did a 208.57 split, that was good for fourth fastest bike split. Chris Lee had the second fastest bike split at 207.08, 
and that was also a record. These guys were two minutes inside Trev Williams' former a bike split, but the man who was the fastest on the bike was Tom Lowe, and we wait to see if Tom Lowe has, ha has been able to hang on for that fifth position. He was the man we would have anticipated coming through in the top five, and here he is, I believe that's him, heading down the home stretch right now, so we get ready to welcome, again, one of the all-time greats. He's watched his partner come to line many times at the Ironman World Championships. We get ready to welcome him for the first time finish here. The man from Ludlow in Great Britain, the 34-year-old. He's been in the 1150 World Championships in Kona, third in New Orleans. We've seen him win the steel hit in Michigan at the 70.3. And fourth in Austria, in Klagenfurt, 3.15.